Well, Boris made mistakes, but that isn't the reason Boris was out of office. The reason Boris was out of office is that there was a bunch of people who have never forgiven him for winning Brexit Mm. and were determined to find a way of punishing him, partly out of loathing and partly as a step towards getting us back into closer alignment with the European Union with prospects in the future. But it's not just that. There are other issues, but that was the core and the driver of it. And they would have found issues to pile on about um, if they hadn't found Partygate, if they hadn't found this. They'd have found other issues. It might have been more policy issues. I think Boris did make mistakes. First mistake he made was he didn't realise, because actually he's a terribly nice guy and he wants to be friends with people. Um, He didn't realise that they were going to come for him with this viciousness. I sort of thought they would, but he didn't really believe they would. And he tried to get the whole of the Conservative Party together represented in his candidate. He didn't appoint a divisive cabinet. He tried to get the different wings of the party together, and he spent too much of his time falling, falling around trying to please people who were never going to be pleased with him. And then when the, when the crunch time came, he wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for the, for the attacks that they launched on him. And as a result of that, he was a bit, you know, yeah, party gate, badly handled, so on. Couldn't agree more about that. But he didn't realise that those hooks were going to be exploited in the way that they were. And those are, I think, the flaws that he came to at it with. But you, with. you say, oh, he's a, a nice guy and all the rest of it, just wants to be mates with everybody. Alan, one of my viewers, has emailed in and said, this is all Dominic Cummings doing. Well, yeah, well that you know, was the most disastrous political appointment since Rasputin. But the reason I bring that up is because Dominic Cummings is obviously having an absolute field day. He's spent a lot of his day-to-day tweeting thoughts and feelings. Uh, he says, I mean, you're saying, oh, he's a nice guy. Boris, I'm talking about, not Dominic. Um, he's a nice guy. He just wants to be friends with everyone. Dominic uh, Cummings is tweeting in character. Boris blames everyone else, thinks he's the real victim, sets up betrayal stories for future Tory conferences and telegraph uh, columns. We're all in for a nightmare if he's allowed to squat. That's what Dominic... Yeah, well, Dominic Cummings is a guy who came in not knowing Boris, thought he was, the man, he was there to run the country, thought Boris was uh, in his way, that he was the Prime Minister and Boris was in his way. I mean, he was crazed. I spent eight years working for Boris and we worked together quite well. And he is a nice guy. And Dominic Cummings has sustained this campaign in a, a sort of crazed, obsessional way since he left Downing Street. And just, who are you likely to believe, you know? Who would you believe? Believe Dominic Cummings, if you like. 